Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweet Art Crafts. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how I paint my resin molds as well as another method of painting your resin charms after they have dried. So I'm going to be showing you guys just a few molds that I have in my collection. Um, there are a few molds here that I have made as well, like this Pocky one. And yeah, so I'm just showing you guys the different faces and stuff like that that you guys can paint. So the two paints that I usually use are Folk Art and Apple Barn. Folk Art is my favorite paint just because it's a little bit thicker and the um, other brand is a little bit more runnier but I do think it's a good option as well so I interchange between the two. When I'm actually painting the resin molds I actually use these um, nail polish dropper tools. I think that's what they call. But yeah, these are really helpful when painting your molds. Okay, so now I'm going to just get started into painting my molds for this first method. So I'm just taking the nail polish dropper tool and just um, picking up a good blob and just putting it into the mold in the area that I want it. And I usually work in like sections, like for the eyes I already did that part, and I'm going to let it dry and work on the other part before I go back in and paint on top of that around the eye part hopefully this makes sense but it just you want to make sure that you're not getting any other paint into that white part and stuff like that so you'll see later on what I'm talking about So this was the part that I was trying to explain earlier that I left the white part of the eyes to dry and then I went back in with the black and put it around the eye. So now I'm just painting my Pocky mold. This is a very um, simple mold to paint just because you're just painting the um, letters. And I do make some mistakes um, with my painting. So what I do is take a clean part of the nail dropper tool um, on the other side and I just clean up wherever I make any mistakes. You can clean it up when it's dry or wet, but I usually prefer to clean it up as I'm going along.
after you have waited for the paint to dry and you can tell that it's very matte and the paint is not wet anymore now you can pour in the resin the reason why you have to wait is because i've done this before where i didn't wait and when you um, demold it the next day the paint is still wet and that is not what you want when you're painting the mold before and making it dry you really want the paint to stick to it so that when you demold it it just only sticks to the actual resin charm and not the mold anymore So let's say if you have a harder to paint mold or you just forgot to um, paint your um, mold beforehand, there's another me another method that I've seen some other people in the within the resin charm community that um, do for their molds. Um, basically, you just take a paintbrush and you want to go in with the paint and you just want to paint all over the area that you want um, to show up. So while the paint is still wet, you want to take like a wet wipe and you just want to wipe off all the paint in the areas you don't want it to stick to. So you can see that here I am just swiping it off and you want to make sure your wet wipe is not too wet. Mine was a little bit too wet so it took off some paint in some areas. So you're going to see me go back in with a little bit of paint and do the same process again. And now we're on to the giveaway part of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for getting me to a thousand subscribers. And here are some of the um, prizes for this giveaway. You get to choose one mold from my shop that's under $20. And this um, giveaway is open to the United States and internationally. And you guys are going to get um, a pack of my heart and star pastel beads and all of my pigments. Um, my neon pigments all you have to do is comment down below if you guys are new to resin or if you're thinking about starting resin and whether or not what's your favorite part about resin if you have and also if you haven't started doing resin what's holding you back on starting but yeah just comment that and also add your instagram name so that i'm able to contact you for the winner and the giveaway winner will be announced next friday i will announce it on ig and i will tag the person who won and I will also announce the winner also on the community tab on my channel. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and for subscribing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.